is going to hurt. I don't know if getting a tattoo is the mark of the truest fan, but it's, if not, it's gotta be pretty close. Thanks for everyone for sharing your love of Gears with the community. Now, it's time to show off some of the new features and content for Gears 5 on Series X and Series S. Here with us today are Zoe Carno and Matt Searcy from The Coalition. Hi. Hey. Hi, Kat. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's super exciting to be here with you, celebrating the launch of our new consoles. So. Have you seen the coverage for Gears 5 performance on the new consoles and what everyone is saying out there? Yeah, we have. The whole team's been watching. Uh, we've been really excited to see the response. People have been getting excited about all sorts of the uh, things that we're bringing to Xbox Series X, and especially Batista in the campaign, uh, 120 FPS in multiplayer. Um, we've got lots more we want to show, especially in this segment. And uh, we actually have a trailer that captures some of the things we're bringing to the new consoles. Oh, I, I would love to watch it. Let's roll it. Now what? This one for my job. I told you it's not gonna happen. Find what you're looking for. Yeah. Now we need to kill it. I gotta say, I love the original Marcus, so it's kind of trippy and cool to see someone else in the role. Um, so when yeah. you decided to bring Gears 5 to the new consoles, how, do you, how did you approach it? Yeah, uh, we knew we were gonna show up, you know, and push the, what Gears could look like on the new consoles. The team really wanted to, to take Gears to a new level and, and show what the game could look like. But we also wanted to introduce uh, a new way for people to play, um, especially if they're coming back to try Gears again, Gears 5 again. And so we went, um, that's where we kind of started with our new game plus co uh, concept. So it's in the campaign. Um, you don't have to play through the campaign to unlock it, but it, it brings all sorts of new ways to, to play Gears again. And other than the new game plus, what are some of the other big things that players can expect to see in the game, both for returning players, but also, also any new players to Gears 5? There's so much, Kat. We did just did so many amazing things. So as you saw, Batista's Marcus, right? Super exciting. That is optional. So if Marcus, you know, as John DiMaggio is your favorite, you can keep that. Um, and then we're going to bring MP skins. So for all those players that have played multiplayer, you've spent your time, you know, earning those MP skins or you've purchased them, you're going to be able to bring them into campaign and show them off. Um, and that's super fun. We've never done that before. So that's weapon skins and character skins. It just looks amazing. We're going to show some of you. Some we're going to show that to some of you later on. Um, you can also bring your jack progression. So as you play through Gears Five for new and and other players as well, um, and you level up Jack, he becomes pretty OP by the end of the game. You're going to be able to bring that progression over into your new playthrough of the campaign with New Game Plus. And so he's going to be able to help you even more in those different difficult situations in combat. And as a part of that, we've got new difficulties. So we've got Iron Man and Inconceivable. So I know Inconceivable is going to be a big one for the community. They're going to want to try it out. You're going to probably want your OP Jack to come help you through those. And then as well, we've got Mutators. 
So we're going to show you a bunch of that later on. But we've got things like big head mode, bobbleheads, which are hilarious. Um, there's mutators that affect the way the game looks. There's mutators that affect gameplay as well. And so Matt actually is going to jump into some gameplay right now. He's going to play a bit at the beginning of Gears 5 and, and show it off. So we're going to show off some of the really um, more sexy Xbox One X and a Series X and Xbox Series S features you're going to see. That's really awesome. I can't wait to see the game now in the Xbox Series X. And honestly, um, you know, if there's anything I learned with working with you guys on the esports side is that people love skins, so bringing the skins into the actual campaign sounds super cool. And an OP Jack too, so it's it's a pretty compelling offer here. <laughs> yeah, for, for players to replay the campaign as well, who've played it once already, right? And then for new players, you're going to be able to see just different ways you can play and, and you're really going to be able to switch things up. And Zoe, for those gamers who haven't played Gears 5, can you walk us through what we're seeing in this segment? Yeah, absolutely. I think Matt's going to cover that. Just he's going to talk through a little bit about what he's playing and uh, and what we're seeing right now. Is not ready for this. She can barely keep her eyes open. Matt? Oh, oh maybe not. Maybe <laughs> I will talk through it. <laughs> so what you're seeing is the opening cinematic in the game. Um, this is where they're just discussing the mission that they're about to go on. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and you'll see in the cinematic, uh, you actually are going to see Dave Batista as Marcus for the first time. So this is where you see it in that opening cinematic and you get to hear his voice and see his face. Um, and as we enter into the first, uh, the first mission of the game and Kate starts to realize a few things that carried over from Gears 4 and what she's going to discover throughout Gears 5. I'm not going to give too much away in case people haven't played it yet, but there's <laughs> Batista there in the background as Marcus. And so actually, let's talk a little bit about Dave Batista. How were you able to get Dave Batista on board to work on the team on this? I think there's a really cool story there. Yeah, so he actually started um, and fans started an online campaign on Twitter uh, when we there was some rumors about a Gears uh, movie coming out and being developed. And so he started a campaign to actually play Marcus. And so fans got on board with it and they started tagging it. And, talking to us about it and so we thought well what a better way to kind of give a bit of, of some fan service and get him in the role than have him come into the campaign for Gears 5 um, and revoice the lines and then actually put his his uh, face um, on the Marcus model as well so you actually get to see him in the role. And from a game development perspective I would love to get some insights into that so what was the process for getting him to record lines for all the scenes? in which he takes on the role of Marcus Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, interestingly, it's it's pretty much our normal process, which is, you know, we get him in the studio and then direct him to read those lines. So he actually is redoing all of the as written Marcus lines for the Gears 5 campaign. Um, and then getting that into the game is a little more complicated, but we had to be able to switch out his lines. We actually used our localization pipeline for it, which is an interesting way to implement it. But so we just, treated him as though he was his own language, which is an interesting way of implementing it, but it worked really well. That's awesome. We always love to learn a little bit of how things work on the back end, so it's always great to talk to game developers about those things. Um, yeah, and still kind of in that vein, uh, and I believe Matt is back. I don't know if he wants hey, to answer this I think one. he is Hi, back. Matt. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> so good oh, to have sweet. you back. Pandemic world, this is fun. <laughs> live <laughs> gaming. Exactly, this is all live, so all to be expected. With Xbox Series X, um, how was then the development, uh, the development team kind of able to enhance the overall quality of Gears 5, which was already really, really high when it first came out? compared to the Xbox One version. Yeah, thank you for saying that. Um, we're really proud, of course, of what we did on Gears 5 and you know what the team's been able to do with the new console is incredible. So you're seeing it right now as Matt is kind of walking around and looking around the world. So you're seeing what we call the PC Ultra Visual Feature Set. So this is, um, you're gonna see this more on the Series X. Um, you're also gonna get on the Series X, the PC Ultra HD texture packs. Those textures are a much higher resolution. You're just gonna see more detail, more more actual texture in them. It's gonna feel much more immersive. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then um, you're gonna get 60 frames per second cinematics. And that is on Series X only, um, but that allows much more seamless blending between gameplay and cinematics because you're getting 60 frames per second gameplay with 60 frames per second cinematics. So you can actually see it right now in the gameplay where you see the flashlight and that moment there. 
um, you're seeing more detail in the shadows. It just looks a little more realistic. So for our multiplayer players in Versus, you're going to get 120 frames per second um, as well. And we're really excited about the load times. We're finding there are about four times improvement in load times. And there's also improved latency for a lot more responsive gaming. So people are going to notice that a lot. And really, as we keep saying, it's just an overall more immersive experience. I mean, this is overall a uh, gamer dreams come true. It's 120 <laughs> FPS on multiplayer. We can look at all this gameplay and see the effect on the water and the light and all the destruction. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I was about to ask you, you know, there's players who don't have a top of the line 4K TV. And so there, there are some enhancements though that they can expect from this year's five version still on the new Xbox hardware. You touched on a few of them with the faster loading times. Is there anything else? I mean, overall, they're still going to get that more immersive experience, right? It's still going to, you're still going to see more of that detail. Um, there's things like screen space, global illumination. It gives your scene more dynamic bounce lighting. So some of those things, we already um, had some of those things in the earlier version. So you're not going to get it quite as enhanced if you don't have that console, but it, you're still going to notice those improvements for sure. And you mentioned before that there are some new difficulty modes uh, with this update. So can you get into more detail on the new updates to Gears 5 that changed the difficulty of this game? Yeah, I can talk about that a bit. Go for it, Matt. Now that I'm back. Um, so we have the difficulty modes that, that Zoe mentioned, but there's also a bunch of mutators you can turn on that either make the game harder or easier. So actually, you can see right there, I turned on poison on the, the enemy, so they leave a pool of acid behind. I also turned on grenade headshots, so when you pop their heads, they explode. Um, I've also got only regenerating uh, health on cover enabled here. Um, so you can really ramp up the difficulties. You can do other things to the enemy or to yourself to make it easier or harder. I've got Raul, actually the lead, the lead designer who was leading New Game Plus playing with me just in case. I've turned up the difficulty too far and I DB and um, But yeah, so there's, there's lots of stuff you can do to change the way the game plays. Um, but actually we can also show some of the crazier stuff in terms of how the game can look and sound completely different. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna pop out to the lobby and we can turn on some of the other mutators. Would love to see it. Do you want to talk a little uh, more about the, those? About the yeah. mutators? Yeah, go for it. So actually, we were going to ask you, Kat, like what, what mutators do you want us to put on? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if we can activate all of them, would Matt be able to survive more than 10 seconds? That's my question. <laughs> Probably not, but we will we'll re revive him. So, you know. Yeah, we could turn on a few. So I'm going to pop over. Actually, you can see we've got different skins here. This is a part of the game where Kate's, Kate's in the, the player one role. Um, and inside our mutator menu, in addition to turning on all the, the skins and stuff, We've got this big, uh, big head or bobblehead mode, so I'll flick that on. Definitely um, want that one. Yeah, we need some <laughs> it's laugh. Make you laugh. Yeah, it's gonna make you laugh. Um, we can turn on like low gravity deaths, so the enemies they pop up in the air when you've killed them. Um, there's an amazing one here that actually people have started to see online as people have started to put this out there. We have voiced gun sounds, um, so all the guns in the game change to one of our audio designers making all of the sounds. Um, and then we have all these different screen effects for how the game can look. Uh, there's even like ones for Gears 1, 2, and 3 if you're feeling nostalgic. Um, there's some pretty crazy very ones in here. I am feeling nostalgic, but I'm sure you guys <laughs> want to show off the, the new graphics. So I'm not going to make you turn that down. <laughs> Actually, we're, <laughs> we're going to turn on cartoon outlines. It cartoon makes Gears kind of look yeah. like a comic book, which is kind of fun with, with big head mode. So let's bounce into this <laughs> other part. <laughs> I love how Kate looks right now. <laughs> it's the best. And so, so before we get into this section of the game, by the way, can you turn, uh, so you've turned on some mutators and rumor has it that you guys had it, well, you, you, you added a big head mode, which we just activated. And you, uh, I also heard that you have a mode with voiceovers instead of the regular gun sounds, which we also activated. So we're gonna see all of these things right now in the game. Um, and I don't have sound here on the studio, but I hope people no. at home are having the best time listening to this once you start shooting. <laughs> it gets pretty chaotic because it's not just your gun noise, it's everybody's. It basically it's, sounds like a yeah. bunch of kids running around making sounds with their mouths, which is pretty amazing. And it's every gun in the game, too. Yeah. 
It's true, we can't hear the, the audio of the game, so I, I hope that <laughs> I people home can't they hear the sound. <laughs> I mean, I guess I have oh, a no. mission now when I get home to actually go play and try it out. So yes, I promise exactly. I'll check it out. <laughs> so how many of these visual modes can players expect to see when they fire up the game? Yeah, you know, we have almost 20 of them, which is super fun. And so we're showing you cartoon outlines right now. Um, there's other ones that Matt mentioned. So the vintage, I'll call them vintage gears. You can do gears one, um, two, and three. There is also one that looks, makes everything look really pixelated. Um, there are ones that make everything look really uh, cold. There's really there's one called Trippy, where the world kind of moves and wobbles. So I think people are going to have a lot of fun with that. If you two had to pick your one favorite, which one is it? Um, you know what? I'm going to say the Gears one. I love it. It's yeah. really fun. Yeah, it's really fun. I, I'm with you, Kat. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. I think um, it's fun to play. I love this cartoon outline one. I think it makes the game look really fun, but kind of like you're playing through a comic book. Uh, but the nostalgic ones are really fun to go through as well. So can you tell us a little, I know it's hard to pay attention when, the, you know, all the characters are running around with big heads, but what's going on on this stage for those viewers who haven't played Gears 5? Sure, this is, uh, this is sort of the start of the second act. Um, and so uh, Kate and Del have, have traveled out to an outsider village where they are um, trying to recruit the last sort of holdouts to come back into the Cog cities uh, because of the war that's going on against the Swarm. Uh, and then the 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 town is attacked at the same time. And we also start to sort of get deeper into Kate's journey, which is a pretty fun part of the game. Oh my gosh, Raul died. <laughs> Raul died. <laughs> that will be on record You're supposed to be forever. helping me. <laughs> well, that was actually pretty good timing, but. Yeah, that's uh... pretty good timing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's 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 pretty cool because when you go back through the the story, you know, you get to experience it in, in a whole new way. I, whether you've chosen to modify the way the game looks or the way the game sounds, or you're just trying to ramp up your difficulty, it's a pretty great way to experience Gears all over again or for the first time. That's awesome. And what kind of updated character and weapon skins will we see in the updated Gears Five? Because there there was already so much offered. So uh, what have you guys done so far? Yeah, so um, because of uh, this is being out now, so any skins, you know, that you've been awarded or earned up until this was released, you're going to see in the game. So this skeleton skin, I think this came out on October 20th. So skeleton suit skin, so that's a new one. So you're going to be able to play all those skins that you've spent all that time earning or those favorite skins of yours you've been collecting. I love seeing the whole sets. You know, people have uh, different sets of skins and weapons and the, all the different weapon skins that go together. So it's going to be really fun to see all of that together. And one other thing that I was really, really curious about, because personally, when I played Gears 5, one of the most fun new parts of Gears 5 was having Jack and upgrading him throughout playing the campaign. Can you go into a, a little more detail about carrying your Jack progression here? Yeah, actually, so I've got it. Um turned on right now so I was able to hijack um, the enemies here I just flipped them to my side these are things that you get much later in the game that really can turn the tide in your favor we've got um, we've got the cloak mode already we've got all of the things you would get later so basically what it does is it takes your furthest jack progression that you've reached in the campaign and it gives you all of those things in your new game plus um, it really changes the way the game played and as Zoe said earlier you know you can use this either just for fun but also if you want to take on one of those new difficulty modes or, or especially um, Iron Man which which requires you to do the whole campaign on one life it can really be the difference between um, life and death has anyone in the studio beat the game in one life <laughs> That's a good question <laughs> Yeah. Because that sounds really yeah. hard. <laughs> no, it's definitely possible. Yeah. I mean, that's part of getting through that mode out into yeah. the wild is that's what everybody works on this stuff. So. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a really good challenge. I don't know if I'll take yeah. it, but it's a really good challenge. <laughs> We have a tester on our team that we give those higher difficulty challenges to, and he comes back to us and says, this isn't actually possible. Yeah, this, so. part, this part might be not possible. Yeah. Actually, there's a good moment to just give a shout out to everybody here at, at the coalition. Like, um, for all the things that we've been working on, you know, leading up to launch, 
Um, it's been a huge effort, and we, you know, everybody in the studio has been super excited to be part of this launch and, and be able to deliver, uh, you know, whether it was tactics or uh, the upgrades that we put in or the new modes. Um, yeah, so a huge shout out to everybody um, here in Vancouver and at all the teams we work with. And I'll relay that to for everyone uh, from us, from Team Xbox, thank you so much. You know, you guys at the Coalition, you put out so much love and passion into these games and they mean so much to so many people. Me personally, Gears is a huge part of my life and one of the big reasons why I'm even here today. Uh, it was really what got me into super, you know, competitive gaming and I made so many friends playing this game. So thank you, thank you for all your work. Thank you, Kat. Yeah, and Zoe and Matt, is there anything else our viewers should know um, about the game and what's happening here? Any e new enemies, anything that's that's going on before you, you two go? Yeah, so um, as a part of our Xbox Series update and to just celebrate more widely um, casting Davis Marcus, the upcoming campaign. So in multiplayer, we're giving away the Batista skin as himself. We call it the animal, and that's him with his signature sunglasses on, and also his Batista finisher move, which is super fun to use. So they'll both be free in the game store for seven days through to November 16th. And then on top of that, we all just want to tell everyone, you know, come back. If you've played Gears before, you've played the campaign before multiplayer, come back, play the campaign. Have some fun, get silly with it, you know, use that new share button on the uh, new controller on the on the Series X and X and show us what crazy combos you come up with. Um, there's already been some videos sent out and they're just amazing. So we'd love to see it. Zoe and Matt, thank you so much for joining us today on the stream here to show us Gears 5 on Xbox Series X. It was awesome hanging out with you. Great. Thank you so much, Kat. It was really Thanks fun. Thanks for having us. Bye. Happy launch day, Bye. everybody. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> So for all of you Dave Batista fans, hurry up and check out the Gears 5 on Game Pass and in stores. With Gears 5, Series X fans get one of the best looking games on the market, completely optimized for the new consoles. All fans will get New Game Plus with Batista. Operation 5 is coming out this month, and we recently dropped news announcing our new campaign DLC, Hive Busters, that will also be out soon.